It's the platforming that really sucks because the the jumping controls aren't good. Like, that's the problem here. Is that the controls I use to do the platforming aren't good controls. Like, they're floaty and weird and not very responsive or satisfying. You were talking about a game that did platforming in an RPG, right? Super Mario fucking RPG had good platforming controls. So it could do platforming without me making without making me go fucking crazy and losing my mind. Right now I'm losing my fucking mind. Alright. The red gem's gotta be somewhere back over here. Right? I might just go to back to the beginning of the dungeon and follow my walkthrough. <laughs> I'm dead serious when I say that. This is that fucking ridiculous. Oh my god, alright. Here we go. I'm going to be super responsible and chat for a minute because I need to put this fucking walkthrough on my screen. Okay. Okay. First room, there's an eye in heaven above the door. Don't care. Next room, there's flame jewel. Don't care. to the left. Okay, we can actually... Oh, God, okay. We gotta load back a fair amount, because if we can make our way to the save point... That actually uh, acts as somewhere I can refer to for this walkthrough. So that we don't have to do the whole fucking dungeon again. So we're gonna do that. Fuck you, fuck you. No, go, go, go. Alright, we're on the save point. Up and to the right, giant head will come to you. Get past that, kneel and cut its beard? What? Are you fucking kidding me? What? What? Okay. Left, left, hit the bottom spot. So, what this is again is a bunch of shit that it's not at all clear that that's how the mechanic works. Like, yeah, I could have just tried a bunch of different shit, but like... Surely, there's some way to communicate to me that that is... a function there, right? Alright. So we got the rune's fate. Now go right, take the bottom right exit, ride the moving platform to the upper right exit. Yeah. Yep, 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 okay. Right. So we somehow came at this whole section backwards? I'm not sure how that happened. Um... Up. Um, I don't think that was right.
I'm angry. Get out of here. Come on. Ugh. This is so fucking annoying. There we go. Surely you will uh, continue moving, right? Eh, whatever, I don't need you. Okay. Right. Up. Up and to the left. Is this right? Oh my god! Left. From the or. That's the save your game room again, though. Oh my god, this is not a fucking fun dungeon. Okay. Am I crazy? Am I misreading this? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Right up. Up and to the left. Guys, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, fucking Egyptian dungeons, man. Especially when the fucking walkthrough isn't fucking clear. Uh, ride the moving platform to the upper right exit. Ride the moving platform to the upper right exit. So we've done that twice. We need to go right. There is no right, dude. You can't go right here. You can only go like up. I mean, does he want upper right? Right up. Okay. God damn it. Okay. So he actually does want me to go here. And then he wants me to go in. And then he wants me to go up and to the God damn this fucking walkthrough. Alright, up and to the left. Up, up and to the left. Then he wants me to go left. Where we've got a mithril ore. Wait, then he wants me to go back right? Why the fuck would I do that? There's no up exit here. Alright, now it doesn't make fucking sense again. Ride the spikes. Oh. Is there a separate right exit here? No. Ride the spikes up to the right. Right, Lucerne. Okay.
This was including getting all the uh, all the loot. It looks like. So because we've already done all the loot, we actually don't do everything it's talking about here. Annoying, but okay. Now it's getting really annoying. All right, ride the spikes back over to the right. Go right for a Lucerne Hammer. Down into the left. Left for Unicorn Horn. Left again. This is the Unicorn Horn. Left. Take the second exit down. One. Two. Use a crystal jump to the door on the triangle above you. How precisely am I going to do that? That's uh, a little, little too high. Probably get a this one. A lot of save states here for a second, guys. I'm sorry. I might be able to make it in one go between these two. That was close. Can you imagine doing this not on an emulator? Might be this one. This is actually where I'm supposed to be. Miraculously, yeah. Left for a one cell rapier. Okay, guys, I think we're making some fucking progress. Yeah, we totally are. Alright. Up and to the right. Save your game. Alright! Right, up and to the left, up and to the left. I don't care. So the problem with this is that the jumps randomly go in between being this kind of weird vertical jump and then you get a super fast dashy jump and there's you have almost no control over which one comes out right like it it does def it, it does correspond to certain inputs but those inputs aren't reliable also the jump input is simply unreliable like it will just sometimes